So this thing is going to be obviously a crap load better than what's up there. How well is it showing up on there? Oh yeah, it's bright. So every tow truck is going to have a main junction box. On the wreckers like this one, uh, it's usually in one of the side boxes. On the flatbeds, it's usually towards the back, kind of above the rear axles. But for here, this is it right here. I've taken off the cover, and now I basically need to probe all these and figure out where all these connections go to so I can uh, hook up everything properly. So I've taken this uh, pizza cardboard and just made a little diagram, and now it tells me exactly which one everything goes to. So it's pretty easy to figure out. Just turn on stuff, probe it, and uh, see what has power. But for some of them, um, this thing is basically an off-brand power probe, so I can actually add power to stuff. So for instance, this is reverse, so when I add power to it, the uh, reverse horn comes on. So I know that's reverse, so just take number nine, write down reverse, and it's that easy. So old bubble bar is off, and the new one is going on. Uh, they do make T-post mounts for these things. I'm not going to get some of those. Those are like 75 bucks a piece, and uh, for, I don't really need those. So all I've done is I've taken part of the original mounts to give it some stability and drilled a couple of holes on either side, and that'll hold it down just fine. That'll definitely be more than enough stable this way, and the flat surfaces here will be more than enough stable this way. Um, and then it'll actually give it enough clearance because these end caps have a little tab that is on the bottom. This little end cap says Whalen. It has a tab. And now that'll have enough clearance for that tab not to touch. So I gotta test everything, hook everything up, run all the wiring. Um, the main junction box for all the power that comes up here is in this side box down here. So I gotta run it all the way down and connect it to that and uh, then test everything out and pretty much configure it the way I want to see it. So I've just moved these little support brackets in next to the bolt because if I have them too far away then it wants to start to flex the frame here and I don't want that. If they're right next to here then it'll basically just pull down and won't have really any leverage to flex it and I can get it plenty tight without that being a problem. So for this light bar it needs a constant power and ground at all times dedicated power and ground, and then it actually operates by inputting a signal into one of those bajillion wires for a different function. So, since there's nothing in this actual junction box that's constant power, what I've done is I've actually found a spare wire harness from something that's got four cables in it, so I can actually run a, const or a, a power wire back there directly from the battery down with the rest of the harness, underneath there and then actually up through here and this one unused terminal is going to be my constant power so I'm going to do this as factory as possible making it look as nice and neat and clean as possible and all of this stuff is going to be ran up here down through here and you're not going to really see any wires because there's actually a bottom cover that goes right there so it's going to it's going to turn out super nice and clean it'll look that much better uh, after a little bit of extra effort and it, um, I, I can't stand installations where it's just a splotch of wires everywhere and nobody really cleans anything up and makes it look nice. If you're going to go through all the trouble to do something like this, at least, at least do a good job. That's all I ask. So most modern tow trucks have this uh, headache rack here, especially the wreckers, and it's all like one solid welded piece. This one is actually nice because there's panels that I can unscrew and get at all this wiring and be able to uh, drill additional holes or shove it through the bottom really easily. But I don't need to do that. This entire bar is a low current bar, so entire bar on everything going draws less than 4 amps max. So what I'm going to do is take uh, some of these extra wires here, because the old bar required a bunch of wires to run. Uh, I'm going to dedicate one to, to constant power. Uh, find a thicker one in here. Probably one of these thick red ones. And that, that'll be more than good enough. It, it won't overload it. Just run it off that wire. Then I have to splice this thing back and add connectors to the end so I can put it into there. You can see now better. I've installed the light bar and the reds in the corners are running lights. 
And I've also added these. They're basically Wayland ions into the uh, the corner here. And the wiring goes up and actually through here. I gotta zip tie everything and like make it all nice and whatever. But it goes through here. I haven't actually secured anything, but they go straight to the junction box for the beacons. Same thing on the other side. This one goes up and around and all the way over. So I got a couple of work lights back there. I'm going to add a whole bar underneath just for like something really bright. And then these dinky little pieces of garbage have to go. So I've got the uh, lighting installed. And uh, I'll show you guys that in a minute. But what I'm working on right now is this is the WatchGuard DVR. And these come from state patrol vehicles. Obviously, they want to keep their hard drives. All their evidence and stuff is on that. So I'm putting in a new hard drive, which is going to go into here. It has these little pegs on it. it sits on these rubber mounts and plugs right in. And then we got this cap and this cover. And I'm probably going to mount it behind the seat here. Um, it's got the, the front camera. This is actually a wireless mic. That sits up there, charges, and then it's got the uh, the screen. You can see that there. Um, I haven't wrapped up all the wires here, but I have the power and ground and the ignition input. So at least the system is operational once I plug everything together. So startup diagnostics have detected an issue with the hard drive. Clearly, because I just put a new one in, it's not really formatted to the system. So I just have to push OK. Now I go type in the admin password and log in and we will just format we'll do a full format and this can take anywhere from like 30 minutes to three hours like it really depends on how much is on the drive and all that but since this is a fresh empty drive there's nothing on it um, it shouldn't take all that long all right, real quick, uh, auto exposure is obviously on, so it's not really gonna do this thing justice. But this is what I have for running lights at the moment. Pretty standard, what you'd expect. I like having the look of a lot of running lights around there. I actually added running lights into the bar as well, um, just so there's a little bit of extra up there. And, you know, cool, nothing special. Um, Notice there's no lights on in the shop. If I turn the headlights off, it's it's dark in here. There's no lights on in here. These intersectors on the side, uh, let's see. These intersectors on the side, when I turn them on, they have a warning flash. They flash red a couple of times slowly, and then they light up this whole area just on their own. It's amazing how much light these things put out. Same thing on the other side. Let's go to the rear. Turn on those lights. Now on this, I have one, two, three, four, five, and six going to the rear. So there is plenty, plenty of light going to the rear. A lot more than it shows on camera. And then I also have one and two alley lights going to the sides. So with the intersectors overriding in white and the alley lights, I have plenty of scene lighting on either side. I have plenty of scene lighting towards the rear. And of course, we have headlights in the front, so I've got light in the front. Just off this truck alone, we are lighting up this entire shop. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, we can turn off the intersectors. Uh, this is the watch guard system. It's actually wired into the lights. So anytime I start the lights, it's going to generate a video file. So if I turn on the beacons, you're going to notice a little symbol in the corner that says lights that popped up there. It's a little blurry because it's dark. Let's see. There you go. So it says lights. It starts recording. We don't really need to be recording right now. So we'll stop that. But Uh, we turn off these intersectors. Cool. All right. Now, when they're not overriding into white, uh, they are red and white strobes. It's really going to do a crap job picking these up on camera. 
All right, so this is what I have for lighting now. So we have a Wayland Liberty top bar, and it's a lot more intense than it looks on camera. I wish I could uh, show you how intense it really is. Um, then we have basically Wayland ions um, on the sides here, just in these little corners, kind of like a midsection light to the box. Uh, these intersectors, they're designed in such a way where no matter which angle you're looking at, they are going to be just as bright no matter uh, how crooked I'm parked or if I'm partially in a lane or 45 pulling somebody, you know, whatever, whatever I'm doing, you can see these. Um, these are cheapo Amazon, eBay, whatever crap, knockoff lights. I didn't have anything I wanted to put there with me, so I just wanted to run the wiring there, put something there so I can literally just connect the wires and put something better there later. I just don't have it. what I want to put there with me right now. I elevated the bar enough, so even right in front of the truck, um, you can still see it. It's plenty, plenty visible, and obviously the farther back you go, um, even easier to see. But if you can't see the truck from standing right in front of it, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, same thing on this side. We have intersector right there. So no matter what way you're looking at it, it's going to be flashing at you. Again, this uh, midsection light here. And we have two more intersectors back here. So they alternate red and white. And pulling people out of ditches and doing weird stuff. Sometimes you're at odd angles. So who really knows? Uh, just make sure I'm going to be seen. And then if we turn on the white lights in the rear, then we have alley lights on each side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have two of these uh, lights back here. They're, uh, they're not, you know, the most expensive thing in the world, but they're going to be plenty bright and do just fine for what I need. And I want to get a full size bar for the back of there that just blasts light out here. I didn't have that. So I just put a couple of pods up there uh, just to put something there and have the wiring there. So when I do get the bar, just bolt it up there and go. And of course we have the alley lights on either side and that one's uh, partially blocked by a Mountain Dew can there. So that's, uh, that's what I got for lighting right now, which is significantly better than what I had before, which was just a bubble bar. So that is going to a collector. Uh, he wants it, so I'm gonna give it to him. And now I have something that's actually worth using. Yeah, you can see the intensity of a good quality name brand bar versus the intensity of cheapo Amazon, eBay knockoff stuff. Those two have to go. I have stuff to put there. I just don't have it with me right now, so I just slap those on for now. But there it is. Now I can actually do stuff and not get run over. All right, excuse the little bit of dirtiness. It, uh, it obviously needs to be washed, but check this out. I've got no wires showing. Paint these black with a little black nail polish. Won't even see them. But we have no wires showing here. We have... No wires showing here. And we have no wires showing here. No wires showing here. That's how you do a clean install. That is how you're supposed to do it. Not just uh, cobbling crap together. And everything runs nicely into this junction box there. Nothing's pinched, nothing's pulling. Um, I got to add a little, uh, cable housing to some of this stuff, clean it up a little bit, but that is how you do it. And of course, no wires showing here at all either. Besides, you know, a little bit that has to go up there. That's clean. That is a clean install. And that is going to be a nice looking truck. Once I get all these tools and stuff cleaned up.